example is ammonia versus acetylene. Ammonia is nitrogen with three hydrogens and a lone pair. And acetylene, it's one of your star. And it is the ethyne. Okay, so this is this will be a different comparison as well. But you have done this reaction, ammonia and acetylene, and you get two different products. And you, um, Dr. J have talked about the reaction in chapter four, so that's something he can easily ask because he has already taught you that. Okay, so how are we going to determine here? We're not going to do all the adding or um, removing ages. Here we're going to talk about hybridization of the atom that's losing or gaining the hydrogen. So nitrogen is obviously going to lose or gain hydrogen because that's the only atom that's connected. One of this carbon is going to lose their hydrogen or gain it. All right. Okay. So now this nitrogen, which is the atom of interest, is sp3 hybridized, whereas this carbon which is the atom of interest, is sp hybridized. So that means we have 50% s orbital character here. And we have 25% s character here. If you do the math, you would realize that because we have four atoms there, so all four of them get 25, and you have two orbitals here, so two orbitals get 50 and 50. So higher the S character, higher the S character, better the acid. Or I should say stronger the acid. All right, so this is you, something that you should know already. Um, that's because of the hybridization. So obviously, acetylene has higher S character than NH3. So acetylene will be more acidic. All right, so this is something new, but you have learned it in class, so you can apply it this way. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.